You're not going to have it all figured out when you jump out there. You is not going to have it all figured out when you jump out there. You're just not. When you transition from a full-time job to oper operating and running a business, you're not going to have it all figured out. Everything, everything that you left with is not going to last forever. Your truck isn't going to last forever. Your tools isn't going to last forever. Your equipment isn't going to run forever. Forever. There's going to be times in business where you're going to have to buy a new piece of equipment. And guess what? There will be times in business where you will have to buy more equipment when you don't have any money. The only thing you will have is either a doggone credit card or a good credit score. That's why I tell y'all all the time, make sure you are running a profitable business and paying taxes. Because the bank, before the bank give you any kind of loan, they want to see two years of tax returns. And not only that, they want to see six months of bank statements. Then they will start giving you loans for this, that, and the other, and allowing you to buy things and stuff like stuff of that nature. Don't listen to other people, man. People will tell you your whole life, do not jump off that porch. If you jump off the porch, you can twist your ankle. You can break your leg. It's safer on the porch. It's nice. It's cool. Don't take any risks. Man, screw it. Look, the majority of people you talk to that's mad, man, stay single, man. The majority of people that have kids, man, don't have kids. Just because they are fearful, listen, don't put your doggone limitations on me. Do not take your limitations and put them around me. Look, I heard somebody say this. This is not my quote. People will let, people will, listen, you will let somebody talk you out of a million dollar dream you will, you, will, you will allow somebody that's making $40,000 a year to talk you out of a million dollar dream. Well, what's a million dollar dream? Look, every company had a start. Walmart had a start. UPS had a start. Chick-fil-A had a start. Pizza Hut had a start. Why can't your, your name of your business have a start? You understand what I'm saying? Everybody started somewhere. Swift Trucking, the laughing stock of the trucking community, started somewhere and employs a lot of people. Maybe you don't want to employ a lot of people. Maybe you just want to make $2,000 a week and sit at the house and chill, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Do not let somebody talk you out of your dreams. While I'm talking to y'all, I got five miles to eat. Look, this truck saying six miles to E and the nearest gas station is eight miles. Well, see, when things happen in your life, you can only control what you can control and forget what you can't. See, I could have controlled this, but I wasn't paying attention. So what I'm going to do, I did get my Skag V-Ride fixed, by the way. So what I'm going to do, if I don't make it to the gas station, I will take the gas can off of my truck. I will jump on the Skag V-Ride ride to the nearest gas station, gas up the jug, and then ride back to the truck. Life's good out here. Life is good out here. I remember a guy told me, he said, man, I ain't never seen nobody smile as much as you do cutting grass. Man, I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream. I am living the doggone dream. I'm living the dream. Look, these people, look, these people just got my number off my truck. And they probably gonna call and say, hey, this guy ain't driving right. And look, if I get a call, I'm gonna say, Gibson's Law, sir. Yes, one of your guys, they're hogging up the lane on the highway. They're not driving right. Uh, is it a number on the side of the truck? Let me slow down and see, or let me speed up and see. No, there's no number. What is the guy, the guy that's in, a, in the truck, what is he doing? Looks like he's talking on the doggone phone. Okay, I'm gonna fire him. I'm gonna fire him. 